guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl steph from steph's kitchen so for today we're going to be making rice and granite soup aka peanut butter soup which is made of peanuts of course and other ingredients that you guys are going to see me make so i'm really really excited to share this recipe with you guys and let's get straight into it so guys this is the list of our ingredients first we have the fresh fresh fish i'm going to be using fish because i just love the taste that fish has in granite soup and then we have our other ingredients here we have our tomatoes just the tomatoes is going to give it color and it's also going to make it taste really really good as well and then we have our maggi garlic we have our habaneros hot pepper i just have two because i don't really like my granola soup that spicy i just want it for the flavor and then we have our ginger we have our um basil leaves aka codmanjo we call this in cameroon codmanjo parsley <laughs> we have parsley and then we have celery we have onions of peanut butter i'm going to be using peanut butter instead of peanuts because one peanut butter is quicker and it's faster to find peanut butter instead of looking for peanuts and then we also have our salt and we also have this is white maggi ajinomoto i'm going to be using it for flavor as well this is definitely optional but i like using it in my dishes because it just has this awesome taste and flavor and i just really really like it so we're going to move forward to seasoning the fish this is ginger garlic and celery i'm going to be showing you guys later on in the video how i make this paste and i'm just going to be adding one maggi cube inside and also some salt just a little bit of salt sorry you guys i don't really do measurements because i just keep putting until it tastes good and then i stop and i'm also going to be putting a little bit of white maggi as well probably like half a teaspoon yeah that's all I'm putting and then for the salt as well see that's not much <laughs> and then I'm going to be putting this one Maggi then I'm just going to mix it all together it's okay like once you're done mixing it's okay to go ahead and taste it just to make sure that it tastes good mm. it's really not okay it's lacking probably maggi and a little bit of salt so i'm going to be adding one more maggi inside because i don't like how it tastes i don't really go with measurements because i can give you measurements and what you're cooking will not be the exact quantity as mine and i don't want to fool anybody <laughs> but yeah i'm just going to put that and i'm going to add a little bit of salt mm, that's not a little bit but okay <laughs> okay i'm just going to mix 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 and taste again just to make sure it tastes good of course mm -hmm. now it tastes good it's seasoned Ooh. anyways then we're just going to cover the fish and put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes so the seasoning can really go inside the fish meanwhile the fish is in the fridge we're just going to be prepping our other ingredients and right now i'm just prepping the onions and i have eight tomatoes here instead of slicing it i'm just going to be crushing it in the blender just watch and see what i do with it and also the tomatoes you don't need to put water in the blender once you're blending your tomatoes because tomatoes are already soft enough so you don't need water inside okay so after blending this is what i'm going to be do doing <laughs> i said doing. i'm just going to be putting it in a shifter And I'm just going to shift it because I'm going to be frying the tomatoes and I don't want this excess water because the excess water is going to take longer for the tomatoes to fry and we don't have all day but don't worry for this water the tomato water I'm going to be using it later on in the video I'm not going to trash it you know those are all the good nutrients why would I trash it <laughs> anyways you see as I use it the name is not in the bottle but i'm going to be putting some canola oil in the pot i'm just going to wait for the oil to get hot 
Meanwhile, on the other side, I also have oil as well because I'm going to be frying the fish. So this side, I'm going to be making the tomatoes, the onions, and everything else on the other side. And then, and on the other side, I'm going to be frying the fish. Okay, guys. So it looks like the oil is hot. I'm going to be putting the onions. And just let it fry for about two minutes so that good steam, that good flavor can just come out. And then once two minutes is over, and then you can go ahead and put the tomatoes inside. But yep, it's been two minutes, so we're just going to add the, on the tomatoes. And it looks like our fish oil is hot. So, let's put that fish in. Ooh. And I also forgot something, guys. Before frying my fish, I always make sure I put some onions in the oil. Ooh. In the I hate frying fish. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, before frying my fish, I make sure I put some onions in the oil. It just gives it flavor. Like, it makes the fish have this amazing flavor. Try it. You love it. Ooh, oh my god, this is, oh. Guys, I don't like frying fish. Like, this is my worst thing to do in the kitchen. And I'm not definitely not going to fry the fish heads if the tail is already acting up. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't have time for this. Guys, so we're frying the fish. Be very, very careful. As you can see, this fish is acting crazy. Like, really crazy. Hopefully, when I get married, my husband knows how to fry fish. Because, oh, I will not be doing this. I don't like this stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to fry everything at once. Because I just, I don't have the time. No, the patience. To spend. I'd rather get burned at once than to get burned most of the time. Guys, don't forget to check out your tomatoes. Ooh. See, it's frying very fast because we removed the water. As meanwhile, the other stuff is prep cooking. We're going to be prepping our other ingredients: the ginger, the garlic, and also the celery. Don't worry, I'm going to wash it after. So. <laughs> Don't forget to check on your tomatoes and also your fish. Okay guys, so as you can see, it looks like the fish is brown. So we're just going to be flipping it over. Oh my god. It's about to, oh shoot. Accident emergency. Woo hoo, fire, fire. When this happens, just turn your fire off and wipe the oil. Because you don't want any fire in your house. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn my fire back on and continue. Don't be nervous when that happens. Nothing is going to happen. <laughs> Some of the fish is already done anyways. That was a success. We didn't get burned. <laughs> Perfect. It looks ready. You know, because I don't want the fish too dry. I want it like moist. So like when you bite it, you can taste all the juices. So I'm going to be taking it off now. Okay, guys. So here's the fish. Sorry, I forgot to film while I was taking it out the um frying pan. But as you can see, it looks really, really good. It's crunchy on the outside, but the inside is really, really moist and juicy, and that's exactly how I wanted it to be. Ooh, and look at that. It looks so good, and it smells amazing. I cannot wait. So I'm so sorry. I don't know how I missed it, but this is the, <laughs> the ginger, the garlic, and the celery. I blended it already. I didn't film it. It was an accident. I completely 
forgot to press start but i also blended it with the tomato water remember the water that we squeezed out from the tomatoes yep i blended it with it so yeah this is it and this is what it looks like it's really liquidy also guys after frying the tomatoes i realized that the oil was too much so i reduced some of the oil and this is how much i reduced see there's a lot of oil yep i might end up adding it but i don't know but for the moment it looked too much so yeah and i'm just going to add our blended stuff inside the pot I put like two spoons because I really want that flavor and also don't overcook it because the fish is already seasoned. Brush the pepper and I'm just going to be pouring it inside as well. And here's our peanut butter. I'm just going to be prepping it for the pot. I'm just going to be putting it in the blender. Also guys, if you have some leftover chicken stock or beef stock, just put it inside. But this is for people who eat both meat and fish. If you're cooking for somebody who does not eat meat, then you, you can't put this inside. You just have to do it water. The things my entire family eat meat. There's no harm in it. So yeah. This just like amps up the flavor. Like it just, mm, it gives it that awesome flavor. I always like like putting all my stuff before like tasting to make sure like Maggi or salt is lacking because I don't want to like just fry the sauce and then put Maggi or sauce and then once I've added the beef or chicken stock then I realize that it's too much salt so I always like putting everything and then Maggi and salt is probably like the last thing but let me just taste mm. oh the flavor is coming through excitement excitement my stomach is starting to <laughs> okay guys i'm going to be adding some chopped basil and parsley for extra flavor this just takes it from like level 99 to 100 <laughs> more like level 90 to level 100 it just makes it taste even better I think I put this in like everything that I make. Well, not everything, but majority of my dishes have this combination. I'm just going to add it inside. Ooh. See, you don't want to put too much peanut butter because you don't want your soup to be too thick. I'm just going to burst one of the peppers so that the flavor can like And I'm going to be adding the fish. As you can see, I've switched from the spoon to this because I don't want to break the fish. <laughs> oh, it's looking really thick. Yep, I think I need to add more water. Now I'm going to be adding my extra Maggi and also my extra salt. I'm going to be using the star Maggi. And then a little bit of the white Maggi. Just a little. A little bit of salt. Like be very, very careful with the salt because nothing tastes horrible like an also with, ex with too much salt. It just, you know the waka. It is, it is here. So yeah, and I'm going to be adding a little bit more oil. Just let everything cook for 10 minutes on medium heat. The final result. Oh, look at that. I like the consistency. It's not too thick. It's not too watery. And oh my God, it just... You guys, it looks so good. It tastes even better. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and... If you make this, let me know how it comes out.